In this first lesson, we shall learn the four more common forms of business structures, the sole proprietorship, general partnership, limited partnership, and corporations. We shall focus on four key aspects, the legal relationship between the owners and the business, the relationship between the owners and those who operate the business, the extent to which the owners are liable for the actions and debts of the business, and the tax treatment of profits or losses generated by the business. The simplest structure is the sole proprietorship, where an individual owns and operates the business. The owner personally funds the capital needed for the business and retains full control over the operations of the business, so the owner is fully liable for the actions and debt of the business, which is termed as unlimited liability. The owner also retains all profits, which are taxed as personal income. Sole proprietorships tend to be small in scale as they are limited by the owner's individual ability to secure financing. A general partnership is like a sole proprietorship, just that it has two or more owners called partners. The roles, responsibilities and share of the business of each partner are specified in the partnership agreement. The owners have shared control of the business operations and have unlimited shared liability for claims against the business. Likewise, the partners share all the profits, and the profits they individually receive are taxed as personal income. A special type of partnership is called the limited partnership. There must be at least one general partner who is responsible for managing the business. The general partner has unlimited liability for claims against the business. The remaining partners are called limited partners, which, as the name suggests, have limited liability. That is, they can only lose up to the amount of their investment in the partnership. Limited partners typically are not involved in the management of the business, nor do they appoint or remove the GPs. Profits-wise, the partnership agreement will specify how the profits are divided among the GPs and LPs. Even though LPs may contribute the larger share of capital, GPs typically get a larger portion of the profits given their management responsibility and that they assume unlimited liability. Like for general partnerships, each partner is individually taxed on the profits they receive as personal income. As we've learned under alternative investments, most private equity firms and hedge funds are structured as limited partnerships. Some law firms may also adopt the limited partnership structure. An evolved model of the limited partnership is known as a limited company, more commonly known as a corporation. Under this structure, the business itself is a legal entity separate from its owners and managers. The owners are known as shareholders. Like a limited partnership, shareholders have limited liability. The maximum amount that the shareholders can lose is what they invested in the corporation, that is when the value of their shares go to zero. The managers are simply people hired to run the company, so they do not personally bear any liabilities from the company. Like for limited partnerships, the shareholders do not directly influence the company's operations and business decisions. Rather, the shareholders appoint a board of directors that is responsible for hiring the senior managers to operate the company. The board and the managers are responsible for acting in the interests of the shareholders. Besides capital from shareholders, which is known as ownership capital or equity, corporations may also obtain capital from lenders in the form of debt. Both shareholders and lenders are considered investors in the corporation, but only the shareholders are considered owners. Corporations can be not-for-profit or for-profit. The purpose of a not-for-profit corporation is to produce a particular social benefit or pursue a charitable goal on an ongoing basis. A non-profit corporation may generate profits but must reinvest any profits towards its mission rather than distributing them to owners. Non-profit corporations are usually not taxed. For-profit corporations may be public or private. A public corporation is typically one that has shares that are sold to the public and trade in an organised market. Some countries may consider a corporation public if it has at least a designated number of shareholders, even if its shares are not traded on an exchange or in a dealer market. A for-profit corporation that does not meet these definitions is a private corporation.
we'll make a more detailed comparison between public and private corporations in the next lesson. Be it public or private, a for-profit corporation may distribute profits to shareholders but has no obligation to do it. After paying off debt obligations and corporate taxes, part of the remaining earnings may be distributed to shareholders as dividends, which may be taxed as personal income depending on the country. If that is so, a corporation's profits may be subject to double taxation. For example, if corporations pay 30% tax on gross profits and individuals pay 20% tax on dividends received, for every $100 earned by the company, $30 go as corporate tax, and if the remaining $70 go to shareholders as dividend, another $14 is paid out as personal income tax. The shareholders only receive $56 out of the $100 profit after all taxes, so the effective tax rate is 44%. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.